Have you heard of creatine? Do you really know what it is and what it does? Well, if you work out, you found the right video. Creatine could be one of the few supplements that can take your workouts and results to the next level. Stay tuned. A lot of supplements on the market are pretty worthless. Creatine is not one of those. It works, plain and simple. In this video, we'll talk about what creatine is, the proof of its effectiveness, what kind you should buy, who it's for, and when you should take it. So what is creatine? Here's a quick summary of what creatine is and how it can help you if you wanna build muscle, strength, and power. When you're doing short, intense workouts, like a hard set of weightlifting, a CrossFit Metcon, or an all-out sprint, you're using your body's energy system called the phosphocreatine, or CP, pathway. As you work, your muscles contract by breaking down energy molecules known as ATP. That breakdown process is what powers the work that you need to do to get bigger, faster, and stronger. But back to creatine. Creatine itself is a naturally occurring compound made up of the amino acids L-arginine, glycine, and methionine. Your body makes creatine and stores it in your muscles as creatine phosphate. The reason creatine is important for power, speed, and intense exercise is because it helps your body regenerate ATP, which is your energy source. Creatine phosphate sits at the ready in your muscles, willing to donate its phosphate molecule to ATP as they're broken down in the process of doing muscle contractions. Think of the creatine in your muscles as the pit crew that keeps you powered up and fueled for short, intense efforts. Besides creatine being made by your body automatically, you get creatine from the foods that you eat that are high in protein. Yet another benefit of a high protein diet for athletic folks. The thing is, even with a balanced diet, your muscles will never fully be saturated with creatine on their own. This is why supplementing with creatine works so well. Supplementing gives our muscles all of the creatine that they can store so that when we need those phosphates to regenerate ATP and finish that set of heavy squats or curls, we can. So does it really work? Heck yeah, it does. A 2003 study showed that 70% of participants supplementing with creatine gained statistically significant improvement in performance. As far as supplement effectiveness in research, it doesn't get any better than that. Maximal power increased by 5 to 15%. The amount of work done in max rep tests increased by 5 to 15%. Single effort sprints increased by 1 to 5%. And repetitive sprints increased by 5 to 15%. These are outstanding results. As if that wasn't enough reason to give creatine a shot, studies have not been able to find any negative side effects to normal creatine supplementation. Hopefully you're sold by now, so let's talk about what to buy and when and how to take it. There are a lot of designer forms of creatine on the market, but let me save you some time and money. The research shows there's no benefit to using anything other than creatine monohydrate. Luckily, this is often the easiest to find and cheapest option. Typically, it comes in a powdered or capsule form. So how much creatine should you take and when should you take it? Since creatine is stored in your muscles, everyone's capacity is different. Bigger muscles equals more available storage space. Current research doesn't show any downside in taking more creatine than you need, but the best approach is to supplement with about 5 grams of creatine per day. With regular supplementation of 5 grams per day, your muscles will reach 100% capacity after about 3 to 4 weeks. Sometimes you'll see people recommend a loading phase where you take like 20 grams of creatine every day for the first week to reach saturation levels quicker. For 99% of people, this simply isn't necessary. Also, going from taking zero creatine to four times the effective dose has the potential to cause some gastrointestinal distress that you just don't need in your life. A common question we get is, should you take creatine on rest days? Absolutely. Remember, the goal is to maintain saturation in your muscles. It doesn't work like a pre-workout that you only take on training days for a boost. Speaking of timing, when should you take your creatine? A 2003 study suggests that there may be some benefit to taking creatine after your workout. However, the potential benefit of trying to time your supplements is usually outweighed by the convenience of taking them whenever helps you be the most consistent. 
We advise our clients to take their creatine as part of their normal daily routine, regardless of what time they train. Speaking of our clients, who should take creatine? Anyone who's trying to improve their physique, speed, strength, and muscle mass. If you're watching this video, that is probably you. The thing I want to leave you with when it comes to creatine is that even though it works, it's not magic. The three factors that will get you better results than anyone else in your gym or your group class are your consistency, your nutrition, your program that you follow, and the intensity that you bring to the table. Supplements are just the icing on the cake. If you want to make more progress in the next few months than you have in the last few years, we can help. Apply for coaching today at the link in the description. And before you leave, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next video. Have a great day.